I shalom. I like to give praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of GMS. And salutation to the brothers that's pushing this truth out of sincerity. Now we got this article called CLTV News. Chicago Land TV. And um basically it's, it's talking about the 4th of July violence in Chicago and all over the United States basically. But um it say uh seven killed, forty wounded over fourth of July weekend. So basically fourth of July is a demonic day, man. It's a demonic this is a demonic holiday for Jake. And and it also is an independent celebrate the day of independence is only for Esau. The banking the banking families and the elites. So uh I'ma go down here I'm going to read and I'm going to play the article real quick. It says Chicago police. Gary McCarthy said despite a drop in a gun in gun violence this 4th of July weekend from last year. He is angry and frustrated with the weekend shooting. During a news conference Sunday, police laid out more than 80 illegal weapons seized just this past week. The superintendent says this holiday weekend, officers are recovering one illegal gun per hour on the streets of Chicago. And say this weekend, officers have been on 12-hour shift and increasing manpower by a third. So basically, man, they need to put martial law out in these streets anyways. That's what's gonna lead to. They say, but the head of the apartment admits, admits it hasn't been enough to stop innocent people from being hurt or killed because seven-year-old Amari Brown was killed just before midnight Police say his father, a documented gang member, was the intended target and has a long rap sheet in Chicago. McCarthy said he's frustrated with with what he feels are weak gun sentencing laws in Illinois. He said so far this year there has been twelve people arrested with a with a gun in Chicago twice many who are back on the streets again so basically I'm gonna play this video real quick just to prove that what I was reading well the superintendent says he is angry and frustrated with all of the shootings that have happened over the 4th of July weekend despite those numbers being down from this time last year now here's a look at some video inside the news conference Chicago police laid out a table full of illegal weapons seized just this past week, more than 80 of them. The superintendent says this holiday weekend, officers are recovering on average one illegal gun per hour on the streets of Chicago. This weekend, officers have been working on 12-hour shifts, increasing manpower by a third. But the head of the department admits it hasn't been enough to stop all of the innocent people from being hurt or killed, including seven-year-old Amari Brown, killed just before midnight. Police say his father, a documented gang member, was the intended target of that shooting and that he has a long rap sheet in Chicago. Let's take a minute to look at his lengthy arrest record. As I said, he's a ranking gang member. He has 45 arrests on charges ranging from gun possession to burglary to assault. His last arrest so he was, was a nigga, basically. in April, where he took the police on a vehicle pursuit, was placed into custody, and was back out on the streets the very next day. Superintendent McCarthy said as far as that investigation goes that this boy's father is not cooperating, but that they have spoken with several witnesses and do have some leads they are working on at this hour. Now, he also talked about uh, the frustration with what he feels are weak sentencing laws in Illinois when it comes to gun possession. He threw out the statistic that so far this year, think about this, he said there have been 12 people arrested for gun possession twice, 12 people twice arrested 
who many of them, he says, now are back out on the street again. Live on the west side, Dana Revick, WGN News. Yeah, as you can see, um, Jake, he, uh, he don't, he don't, he don't, basically, he didn't really didn't care about his son, man. So, they'll tell you that, um, Micah, yeah, James uh, Thomas locking. is accused of killing. Let's see if I can pause that. I'm going to scroll down to the, I'm going to go to the next article. Basically, Jake, man, he, um. He was a tended target. He was uh, one of the high-ranking gang members on the west side. And um, basically, they were trying to kill him, but the bullet was meant for his son, basically. So that's basically the Lord's um, judgment. I'm going to go to this one real quick. They say, um, they say um, crowds march for peace and wake up deadly violence weekend in Chicago. But before I get to that, I'm going to get the scripture about why the Lord took his son out real quick and then and you know what it goes back to the curses as well um, this Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 54 it says so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eye shall be evil towards his brother right because that goes back to Black on black crime, Latin on Latin crime, basically Israel on Israel crime. So basically, that's a curse from the Most High. That's why there's all this senseless killing going on in these different types of cities, man. And that's it. So that goes back to the curses of Deuteronomy. So your eye be your eyes shall be toward, shall be evil towards your brother, man. So the reason why Amari Brown was killed because the Lord orchestrated that. He's basically the most high, Yahweh Shai is the author of killing. So I'm gonna go to a next scripture real quick. I'm gonna go to 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. Alright, this is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. It says the Lord killeth. And make up alive, he bring him down to the grave and bring him up. Right, because the most high, Yahweh Shema Shai, is the author of killing, man. He the one that had that straight bullet hit his son. The reason why, because his father's a straight nigga. He been arrested for like 40 some times. He's in the high ranking gang member on the west side. Uh, and um he was jeopardizing his family, basically. So, basically, he was a nigger. He's a nigger. So, yeah, moving on to uh, to a next scripture. Let's say uh, Psalm 68, 20. Psalm 68, 20. All right, this is Psalms chapter 68, verse 20. It say, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto the Most High, the Lord belong the issues from death. Right, the Lord controls whoever get their ass shot, killed, or anything. So the Lord control death, man. It ain't just angels. See, it's death angels roaming around everywhere because we're in the last days. And we're in the height of this time right now. And then uh, Yahweh Shah is bearing down on, on people, man. Especially the two thirds. Which I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna get to that later. Later in this lesson, man. Yeah, to say he that are he, he that is our power is the power of salvation and unto the most high the Lord belong the issues from death so if the Lord controls death man you don't control your, your own destiny of killing the Lord control the destinies of killing man reading on um, I'm going to go to the next scripture Deuteronomy 32 and 39 Go back to the curses. And then that's what y'all get for celebrating the 4th of July. And the Lord don't the Lord don't tolerate no um no white man, so-called white man, which is Esau, the devil, holidays, man. 
Alright, this is a uh, Deuteronomy 32:39. It say, "See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out my hand." Right when Amari Brown got sh got killed. Nobody delivered him out his hand, man. Because the law issues death, man. That's why, that's why, whoever watching this, that's why his son got killed. Because the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, orchestrated that. He the one behind death. He the one behind all the killing. He the one sent the angels to do his work. This is why, this is the reason why you niggas celebrate these holidays and these feast days and shit knowing that it's not in the scriptures not to celebrate other nations customs alright 